Okay, so this week I wanted to show you how easy it is to make your own fine dining recipes at home. This week we're cooking lamb, and here's the recipe. I'm not actually going to show you how to make the pea puree in this video, but if you look at my carrot puree video, you get the idea of how to make it. Anyway, let's start by heating up some butter in a saucepan, and then we're just going to cut up about a quarter of an onion into a rough dice, any way you like, there's no particular way for this. And you can throw that in with your butter on a medium heat, crush a clove of garlic, throw that in, crush another clove of garlic, throw that in, and we're just going to sweat that down. That means on a low to medium heat without colour. Throw in a couple of bay leaves, a little bunch of thyme, and a sprig of mint. Season with a little bit of black pepper, cook out for a couple of minutes until the bottom of the pan starts to brown. And then we're going to deglaze that with a little bit of balsamic vinegar and just give it a stir around, scraping the bottom of the pan until it comes out completely clean like this. Now throw in your pot and just leave it on a low temperature to reduce for now. Now moving on to the roasted veg, just peel your parsnip, top and tail. We'll cut the smaller end in half and the larger end into quarters and just cut the core out at an angle like this. Now grab yourself a baking sheet and you can put all of your vegetables on. The carrots you just need to wash, you don't need to do anything with them right now. Lightly oil them and then we're going to season with salt and pepper. Now just give them a little mix up to make sure they're all coated in salt and pepper and oil and then you can throw them in your oven. By now your sauce should have reduced by about half and you can throw in all of your stock and just continue to reduce it. And then next job we're just going to cut some of our chestnut button mushrooms in half and just put them to one side for now. Now we can move on to the lamb. Now I've taken this out an hour before I want to cook it just to come up to room temperature to make sure it cooks evenly. And we're going to trim off any excess fat. So that starts with a thick layer of fat down one side and any excess fat from around the outside. And then we're going to season this fairly generously with salt and pepper, making sure that any excess salt and pepper that has fallen onto the board, we're going to mop up with the other side of the lamb to make sure it's evenly coated. Now heat up a frying pan with about a tablespoon of oil, throw in your lamb, and you want to be able to hear it sizzling, otherwise your pan's not hot enough and you're not going to get a good crust on it. Cook for about three minutes without messing around or playing with it. Flip it over and throw in one crushed clove of garlic, a small bunch of thyme, now add your butter mushrooms, cut side down, big pat of butter, and baste the steak for about another minute. Once the steak's cooked to your liking, take it out onto a hot plate and just leave it to rest for a few minutes, and you can throw the garlic and thyme straight on top. Now remove all of your mushrooms and put them on the hot plate too. And now we need to get rid of all the oil and butter from the steak by keeping that brown fond. Strain your sauce straight onto that to the glaze again. And lastly, just start whisking in your butter a little at a time until it's fully emulsified and just keep hot until ready to use. Now all that's left to do is slice up your steak, cut your carrots in half lengthways, and we're ready to plate. See you next week.